hello to each of you. I am Sister Pat Phillips, S8CJ. I'm happy to be with you today to talk about taxes of all things. Today's gospel is that story of the Pharisees and Herodians who were trying to catch Jesus in his speech. They posed the question to him, is it lawful to pay the census tax to Caesar or not? <clears throat> they thought they had him. Whichever way, ever way Jesus answered, they would catch him. Southern Palestine was a province governed by a procurator. The governor instituted a census for taxation and general administration. There were three taxes. Number one, the ground tax, one-tenth on all grain produced and one-fifth on wine and fruit produced. It could be paid partly in kind and partly in money. Number two, income tax, 1% on income. Number three, poll tax, one denarius for men ages 14 to 65 and women ages 12 to 65. Coinage was a sign of power. If the coin had the king's head and inscription, it was his property. So when Jesus asked, whose image and inscription is this? They answered, Caesar's. Then Jesus said, repay to Caesar what belongs to Caesar and to God what belongs to God. They were amazed. There are three principles we can find in this story. Number one, the state is ordained by God. We need laws for order to help make life livable. Number two, with benefits from the state come responsibilities. We must respect the laws. Number three, but there is a limit. If the claims of state and the claims of God are in conflict, then loyalty to God comes first. I'm sure you can think of situations where the latter is true, the death penalty, abortion, and many others. Our challenge is what to do about it. We have an obligation to follow our conscience, and we have an obligation to become as informed as we can. Discernment and prayer can help us. Let us pray. Dear God, help us to discern what to do when there is a conflict between laws of country and laws of God. Enlighten us with the necessary knowledge and courage to do what is right in your eyes. We ask this through Jesus, your Son, with the help of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Have a great day and choose the right path today.